Red Dead Redemption 2 was announced just about a year and a half ago. Since that announcement, Red Dead fans like myself have had to endure two delays and just extremely long news droughts from Rockstar Games. There have been some smaller pieces of information and news trickling out, like leaks and comments coming from Rockstar's parent company Take-Two Interactive, but for the most part, for a game that was announced in late 2016, we still don't know officially much about this game. Sure, we have an idea on what the story will be about, but gameplay-wise, we honestly have zero details at this point. In just about six months, on October 26, 2018, Red Dead Redemption 2 is set to launch, and a new leak may actually indicate that Rockstar Games is gearing up to put their attention on Red Dead finally. As most of you know, Grand Theft Auto Online has been Rockstar Games' money-making main focus for the last five years. When Grand Theft Auto 5 released in 2013, I don't think anyone really expected the online mode to take off the way it has. It is one of the big reasons why GTA 5, five years later, is still consistently among the top 10 games purchased each each week, and it's at least one reason why Grand Theft Auto V has sold over 90 million copies and is ranked currently as the third best-selling video game of all time, only trailing Minecraft and Tetris. With all that said, Grand Theft Auto Online cannot go on forever, and it seems many fans, including myself, are ready for a new Rockstar Games title, something we have not gotten since GTA V's launch in 2013. Obviously, Grand Theft Auto Online's success is a big reason why, but this franchise eventually does need a break, something that in June of 2016, Take-Two Interactive CEO Strauss Zelnick admitted, specifically saying not only was it not our intention that Grand Theft Auto Online was permanent, but it's important that it not be permanent. We have to rest the franchise at some point. Now this leads us to a well-known Rockstar Games leaker insider Yan2295, who has for years leaked many details on Grand Theft Auto Online's updates and has additionally most notably claimed that Bully 2 is indeed in development and coming after Red Dead Redemption 2. Anyway, Yan recently posted new details on Grand Theft Auto Online's next update in which he claims the following. It's supposed to be fairly big and it'd be about the consolidation of all the in-game businesses, crates, cars, bikers, bunkers, smugglers, etc. into one. It might also be the last update, but we've heard that before, so take it as you want. Though the drip feed of this one is supposed to end near the launch of Red Dead Redemption 2, so who knows. We're currently just about six months before Red Dead Redemption 2's launch, and Rockstar is yet to really put the spotlight on this upcoming game yet, which obviously worries many fans as Rockstar has a reputation with delays, and being that there's already been two with Red Dead Redemption 2, it's a sign that development has not been perfect. With that said, this leak is great news because it certainly sounds like things are about to pick up. Back in October of 2017, Rockstar's director of design, Imran Sarwar, was interviewed by Game Informer, and he was pretty much asked how Grand Theft Auto Online would run after Red Dead Redemption 2's launch, and he stated, We don't yet have a fixed endpoint in mind, but the rollout of updates may change a little in order to encourage players to try Red Dead Redemption 2 when it launches. It would be great to have players splitting time between two incredible worlds, but we shall see how things evolve. One of the enjoyable things about working in a project Project like this is that you can iterate quickly and change and evolve plans fairly quickly too, so we don't have to be as clear in our plans as with other projects. And in another interview posted the same day in October of 2017, this time with IGN, Imran Sarwar was asked, does the movement of Red Dead Redemption 2 to 2018 place any extra pressure on Grand Theft Auto Online to keep kicking goals for longer, or would Grand Theft Auto Online have been expected to remain as vital as ever despite the spotlight shifting to some something as highly anticipated as Red Dead Redemption 2. And he responded by saying, We always had plans that extend beyond the launch of Red Dead Redemption 2, because as much as we would love everyone to jump into our next game, it's always better to have options to what you want to play. If players are jumping between playing the latest update to GTA Online and discovering our newest game for the first time, we will be very happy. For all the single player fans who hate multiplayer games, please be aware of this. We are working flat out on Red Dead Redemption 2. Having successful multiplayer games Games lets us take the necessary time with single player games to make them all they can be, especially complex when working on new systems as we are right now. Although sometimes there are resource conflicts, most of the time both game modes support each other. Now it's important to understand, with the recent leak and comments made by Rockstar, Grand Theft Auto Online is certainly going to slow down. Also, as of this moment, Take Two Interactive stock is suffering from Fortnite's popularity because a lot of the interest has moved away from Grand Theft Auto Online, so 
starting to hype up something highly anticipated and new is probably smart. So Grand Theft Auto Online certainly isn't going to completely fade away. The next few months a big update is coming and Grand Theft Auto 5 is said to be getting a premium edition that was leaked about a month ago, but as we get closer to Red Dead Redemption 2's release, it does seem things are going to slow down. And after its release, it seems there are a lot of question marks. According to a recent leak, Grand Theft Auto 6 is still about 3-4 to four years away, which I have to imagine Rockstar would love to keep Grand Theft Auto Online going until this console generation ends, which probably will be in the next couple of years. Anyway, while this leak may seem insignificant to some, I see it as a sign that Red Dead Redemption 2's time is coming, and that time is quickly approaching. While they did promise news in the coming weeks back in the beginning of February when they also announced the delay to October, two months later we have not seen any anything. But when that silence ends, probably sometime this month, it should be full steam ahead. Anyway guys, how do you envision things after Red Dead Redemption 2 releases? Will GTA Online go back to being one of the biggest online experiences ever, or will it continue to slow down? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, but thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a like if you did enjoy this video or found any informative value, and consider subscribing for more videos like this. Turn notifications on so you don't miss out on any videos, and remember, Outlaws to the end.